right guys so as you can see if you look down below this video I uh, reached 2,000 subscribers uh, honestly I'm not even really sure how uh, I've gained quite a few without posting <laughs> I haven't made a video in like almost a month I think it's been like three weeks something like that and uh, yeah but I hit 2,000 subscribers I'm really thankful for that I don't really have anything special uh, to do uh, I'm still just kind of saving money to work on the cars but Anyways, let's get to the main point of this video, uh, the BMW, the E34, uh, I've been working on turboing it, and I still have a bunch of stuff to get, well, a bunch of money, but not too much stuff, it's really expensive, and uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to buy the parts I need to fix it, or not to fix it, to, you know, get it running, but uh, yeah, not really sure when I'll even be able to buy them, I'm still trying to save up for them, but it's like another $800. Which for me is not, it's pretty hard to get. So, uh, I've been thinking, uh, I live in Michigan, northern Michigan, and it's basically a big a truck area, you know, off-roading and mudding and two-tracking. And I've been seeing a lot of people build, like, rally cars, you know, like Miatas and stuff. And, uh, you know, like, lifting them up a little bit, putting, like, big tires on them and, you know, two-tracking and stuff. And that's pretty much the biggest thing around here. There's not any, like, racetracks or anything like that, you know, it's kind of a off-road type of place. So what I thought would be interesting, uh, we pretty much turn the E34 into like uh, off-road or not like mudding and stuff, but you know, two-tracking, that type of car. Um, and it'd be, you know, cheaper than finishing the turbo build. So basically what I want is, I want you guys to tell me what you want. Uh, basically I could finish the turbo build, which I'm not sure how long it could take. Uh, you know, I have some things left to buy, and I don't really have very much of an income of money right now. So basically, uh, I can finish the turbo build and turbo it, and, you know, hopefully get it running, hopefully not blow it up, and, uh, you know, in a couple months or however long it would take. And then, you know, have fun with that. Uh, you know, maybe eventually buy lowering springs or something uh, later on, you know, once I can afford that. Or what I could do is kind of put it back to stock, stock motor, and keep all the turbo stuff uh, for later, and then just have a perfectly fine running stock motor, and it still is like rebuilt, you know, basically has zero miles on it, or like 200 miles that I put on it, uh, and then, you know, see if I can lift it up, build maybe an inch or two, you know, get some beefy tires, some uh, mud flaps or something, uh, you know, light bars, that type of thing and you know go like off-roading and two-tracking and that type of thing you know have fun with it uh, for you know the summer because that'll probably get done a lot sooner since that's not going to be as much money as the other stuff and then what I'd probably realistically end up doing is at the end of the season maybe this next winter the one that's coming up uh, you know then turbo it and then have that for next summer uh, you know because I still have all the parts or maybe you know, if I end up blowing it up or crashing it or whatever, uh, then, you know, buy an E36 or something like that, because I still want to stay in the BMW game. Uh, I love BMWs, old ones. So my kind of dream is just, like, a nice, clean E36. So maybe eventually I can do that, uh, you know, if I end up destroying this one. Because the E34 isn't really the best chassis for, you know, pretty much anything except for just keeping a stock like there's not very much stuff out there uh, you know there's a little bit but rather than you know like E36's there's just crazy amounts of aftermarket parts and that type of thing so I think that'd be a little bit better and a lot lighter and stuff E34 is kind of a boat uh, so yeah those are kind of the two options I either turbo it and I'm not sure how long it would take uh, you know quite a while still probably or kind of put it back to stock motor and then kind of make like a rally off-road type of build and that could be done before the snow melts probably I mean you know most of it then keep working on it over the summer and stuff uh, yeah so basically I guess just comment what you want uh, maybe I'll make like a straw pole type of thing I've done those before but I don't know basically just comment if you want turbo build or rally build uh, and I'm gonna listen to whatever you guys think whoever or whatever is voted for the most I'll do that because I really just don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically that. Um, also, since I haven't really made a video very often, 
uh, and I'm probably not going to make them very often until I, you know, make a decision and actually start working on something. Um, you can go check out my Snapchat because I post kind of a lot more updates on there and, you know, whatever else I'm doing. So, you know, check that out right, right there somewhere. Uh, yeah, so, you know, Snapchat's always fun. And uh, also one more thing, uh, one of my good friends, and I actually helped with it, he just released a short film. Uh, it's really good. He's really good at that type of thing. And I really, I'd like all you guys to go check that out. Uh, link in the description. And uh, it's called Morals. It's a really good film. It's like 20 minutes long, so just take some time out of your day. Go watch that. Give him some support. Subscribe to his channel. He's really good at that type of thing. And uh, yeah, I'd just like you all to go check him out. So go do that. And stay tuned. I'm still making videos, just slowly. Um, yeah. So anyways, vote for what you want the BMW to turn into. Uh, rally build will definitely come faster. Turbo build will come later on, but it'll still be pretty cool if it doesn't blow up, I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, I guess stay tuned and uh, check back soon. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.